Al Nobani was a very young photographer in 1999 when he was selected by Michael Jackson himself to take some portrait photos. The snapshots were never used in the end, but Arno recently regained control of the images in order to exhibit them in Paris in December before selling them at auction. It all started with one photo. In fact, at the time, just to set the scene a bit, I was 23 years old. I was a young fashion photographer in Paris and I had just met Isabella Blow who I ended up working with for a year. She sort of discovered me and pretty much launched my career. I was working for the Sunday Times, a supplement of the Times, and at the time we were given a lot of freedom to do whatever we wanted with French or Couture. And I did an editorial about gold wraps in a museum in England, and that made the cover of the Sunday Times. And one Sunday, Michael Jackson was in London, and he came across this famous photo, and he fell in love with the image, and he quickly demanded to meet the photographer who had taken it. From the very first time I met with him, he gave me carte blanche. What he wanted to do was more than just take some photos, because he was searching for his next new look for the next 10 years to come. So he asked me if we could revisit the photo with the gold cape, the famous photo from the Sunday Times. He asked me to think about other scenarios as well, other vibes, other styles, including ideas for hair and makeup and all of that. He even agreed to cut his hair for the photo shoot. All the photos that we have here, and there are 90 lots, include four giant prints that are 2 meters 20 high and small prints that are 6 by 7 centimeters, as well as contact sheets, some of which have been signed by Michael, where he made his choices by putting down annotations. Everything is one of a kind, so it goes without saying that each piece is unique. 